Glasgow had its chance to thank the efforts of Scotland's Olympians and Paralympians today as a huge open-top bus tour made its way through the city. The crowds gathered at Kelvin Grove before moving down to George Square to meet 16,000 overjoyed fans. DailyRecord.co.uk was there to chat to the medal winners about the legacy of the Olympic success and also how they felt about being involved in a special day for Glasgow. Yeah, just, just overwhelmed again really by the amount of people that are here. Um, I was lucky enough to do the parade down in London and that was massive, but yeah, again, it just looks like, you know, thousands upon thousands of people want to come out and see us, which, you know, it's just well, really overwhelming as I say. Yes, there's quite a lot of people here who didn't get the chance to come down and see the game, so it's great that they get the opportunity to come out and actually enjoy it with us and, you know, I can't wait to get out there and celebrate with them. Absolutely incredible. Just. You know, the crowds are still going now. You know, most of the athletes have left by now and they're still here cheering and enthusiastic and everyone's just having a great day. It's a, what you can't believe is that wherever you go, there's still thousands of people turning out in the streets to celebrate and enjoy the Olympics and the Paralympics all over again. So, you know, that was Monday, this is Friday. It seems that they're almost five days on and we're, we're doing it all again. So I, I just hope it keeps going. I mean, what's lovely is I think people have been so excited and inspired by the Olympics that a lot of people want to share in a bit of magic still, so you know I'm, I'm going around a variety of places, schools, clubs, businesses, you name it, chatting to people about the Olympics again. So while while that's on the go and while people still want to enjoy it, then I'm I'm absolutely going to go around and do it, and the whole day will have to wait a little while. I think I think when you as a team we could be very successful performance-wise, but I think what we didn't realise is how huge it was going to be across the whole nation in the, the spectators and the the people who just got behind it and understood it and understood why it's such a special event to be part of and, and that what was fantastic as an athlete you know that you kind of if you've been to Olympics before you know how amazing it is but to, to do it at their home games and see people absolutely captured by the magic of it is wonderful to see. I really hope the legacy continues I mean you know almost this is when the work starts it's the performance has been there the, the, the inspirational stories are all out there and now it needs to go further. It can't just be, let's hope it all just happens because we'd like it to. You know, there's work to be done to make sure we hold on to that legacy. But we've started in a very strong way. I mean, I don't know what my role will be in years to come yet, but it's, uh, you know, I've, I absolutely love being part of sport. I've loved, I've loved what I've got from it, what I've managed to give back, and, and I would love to see other people benefiting from it too. So, yeah, if I can play my part, absolutely. Amazing. Amazing, you know, I don't think any of the athletes expected this and uh, just to see the support we've been getting and just to be able to say thank you to the crowd, it's been a, a day to remember. Literally, when you, we came in on the bus at the, the very end and we came into the square there, you just you couldn't see anything other than faces and flags waving, it was uh, amazing, really incredible. I think we've got a reception in, uh, in one of these buildings near here somewhere and then it'll be uh, back home tonight, back to Edinburgh and then we've got the, the Edinburgh Parade on Sunday, so yeah, it's going to be an exciting weekend. I think the legacy of this will be that people can see how, how much the, the public get behind a, a multi-sports game. So to have the Commonwealth Games here in two years' time, it's going to be massive for, for Scotland and for Glasgow, obviously. So, uh, yeah, very exciting time for sport and for, for everyone involved.